So I already know the sisterhood gonna have a problem with me, right? I already know they do, they do anyway. I mean, they be throwing a lot of smoke from their camp, you know, from the hyena kingdom. So I already got problems with them anyway. But let's continue with the problems, okay? Let's continue, all right? Cause I like that smoke, let's continue. I wanna, I wanna play something for y'all real quick. Tell me if it makes sense or it doesn't. Mm -hmm. If y'all's daddies loved y'all, there'd be more single fathers. See, but when the relationship with your mother ended and he couldn't get no more benefit from her, he abandoned you. Go unpack that. Go unpack that. Go address your abandonment issues so you can stop projecting all over the place. Like, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Okay? So I just want to give a small correction. That's all. Just a little small correction. Okay, give me about three minutes. Okay, give me about three minutes of your time. So nobody thinks that the problem is, is that mama gave her womb to somebody who was undeserving. Nobody thinks that mama gave her womb to Pookie and Ray Ray and a jester on the corner. Nobody thought that that makes sense. No, no. Nobody thought that mama rather been the side chick than the main chick. Nobody thought that, okay. Nobody thought about how mama was creeping with a married man and he couldn't leave his family. Nobody thought about that. Nobody thought about the decisions that mama made to open up the gates okay to open up the floodgates to men that she barely even know when we have women doing one night stands with men they don't know and they get pregnant let's let's understand that part first because when we get up here and say that men just abandon their children you know what i'm saying it's the ones that you pick that you you know what i'm saying it's the ones that you're picking that are not right, okay? Because there are men that sniff under you that are good men and they wanna wife you, but they're not your cup of tea. Something is wrong with them. Something is a little off, okay? Or he may not look too fine, okay? Y'all be wanting the ones that's already married, mm-hmm, or you want the ones that's already in a committed relationship, uh-huh, because you see how good he treats his wife or how good he treat his woman. Y'all be wanting those. Y'all don't want the ones that's the nine to five that's doing his thing. Y'all don't want those. You be wanting the ones that be on demon time. So the ones that be on demon time or they already in the family, they can't come and spend time with your baby because they already have a family. They already have a family. Either she's the wife or she's the main chick. So how is he supposed to decimate one family to come and mess with you? And I know some of y'all going to say, well, why he mess with her? Why you let him mess with you? Why you open up your legs to him knowing that he got a family? And I know some of y'all going to be like, oh, no, nah, sis. Sometimes they be lying. They be hiding it. I'm going to share something with you. That's real nasty that y'all don't like to say that is true. Women are just like the FBI and the CIA. Yes, they are. We find out every damn thing. Mm-hmm. If we want to look, we going to find it. You want to know why? Because men are the type of creatures of habit. Mm-hmm. Men are creatures of habit. When something goes off, that means something is wrong, my sisters. That's me. That means you got to start hunting. You got to start figuring out what's going on. Yeah, I said it. I said it. So when you want to get up here, you want to blame men for the predicament that you're in. Remember, you hold the keys. You hold the keys to the waterfalls, baby. Take heed to the message with your nonsense self.